Today, I'm going to inform you about bacterial meningitis. The first thing y'all need to know is that it's characterized by inflammation of the meninges of the spinal cord or the brain. This is a fast moving, very dangerous disease that can become fatal. Bacterial meningitis spreads from human to human via respiratory <clears throat> secretions in close quarters. If you are pregnant, then you are at risk for developing listeriosis, which can present with fever, fatigue, or aches. This can also lead to possible miscarriage. Bacterial meningitis can also cause nausea, vomiting, photophobia, altered mental status, or a stiff neck. These symptoms usually present in about 7 to 10 days. Those of you who are at the most risk are individuals under the age of 1, those are babies, people on college campuses because of the small dorms that we have to live in, patients without a spleen, microbiologists who deal with bacterial meningitis every day, or individuals who are traveling to the Sub-Sahara Desert in Africa or people on Hajj to Mecca. In order to be diagnosed, a doctor must draw blood or cerebral spinal fluid, and they could also culture the bacteria. Once diagnosed, a doctor will prescribe you antibiotics, and you must take these immediately because you want to avoid the long-term effects of bacterial meningitis. If you want to avoid this disease completely, there are necessary steps you must take, such as completing the necessary vaccination schedule or just avoid people that are infected. Now I'll give you some Jeopardy facts. There are about 600 to 700 cases in the U.S. per year. And about 10 to 15 of these people, unfortunately, die. One in five people will live with long-term effects. These effects could range from brain damage, hearing loss, loss of kidney function, or limb loss. Thank you. Have a nice day.